A teacher who claimed to see UFOs hovering over a Melbourne school says military officials threatened to have him fired if he ever spoke about the incident. Andrew Greenwood is talking publicly about the famous Westall High sightings 55 years ago for the first time in tonight's 7 News Spotlight program. Now an ordinary suburban school, but in 1966, Westall High students and teachers insist they saw UFOs triggering a massive government cover-up. They were threatening you. Oh, absolutely. I was threatened. Then a Westall teacher, Andrew Greenwood, speaks publicly for the first time to Spotlight. Mr Greenwood, Mr Greenwood, there's a flying saucer. On the Oval, he and 200 students saw three of them. It was a grey, almost cylindrical um, or cigar-shaped object. All these years later, the students draw what they witnessed. They claim one landed in a park, then took off. I could feel a heat and hear this buzzing sound and I could see purple lights all around it. Now, close to that landing area is a popular UFO-themed children's playground, but at the time, within 40 minutes, this area was swarming with military officials who warned witnesses never to tell anyone what they'd seen. They menaced the teacher at home. They told me that I was wrong, that I hadn't seen anything. And if he spoke up... Clearly you were drunk on duty and that will have to be reported to the education department and of course you'll lose your job. An official report into Westall just disappeared. And that is what I find most interesting of all, uh, that, that I was definitely being told to be quiet. Nick McCallum, 7 News.